Okay, guys, let me turn this down. I am on my way to go get Jax, so I thought now would be a good time to talk. Hopefully you can hear me. Like, I'm doing 60 mile an hour, so hopefully it's not too loud. Anyways, today is Wednesday, November 29th. So normally I do Vlogmas. Like, <laughs> normally I do Vlogmas every year. But this year, it's just different because now Jax is in all day school five days a week. So, I want to know, like, do you guys still want me to do Vlogmas? Like, so many of you ask me, like, are you doing Vlogmas? I hope you're doing Vlogmas. Well, I don't have any kids at home all day. It's not like during Vlogmas it was just a whole bunch of videos of just Jax, like, last year or anything. I mainly filmed, like, in the morning, get kids ready for school and then after school. But, so, do, that's my question. Do you want me to do Vlogmas this year? I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know what's going on because like, Jack started school two weeks ago and the first week that he started, he had been sick. Like literally he was sick for a week. He was actually admitted in the hospital overnight. And then we got home within less than an hour, he was worse. So we drove him like, my mom and I drove him like 65 miles to a children's hospital and they treated him there. We were there for like seven hours, eight hours. And then we came home and then like a couple of days later, like they had him just at home for a few days. And then he started school. So his first week of school, he was there on a Thursday and a Friday, which was great. But then last week, he had school only for two days because it was a Thanksgiving break. So last week, he had school Monday and Tuesday. But the girls were home because they didn't have school. So I saw a kid's home last week uh, on the two days that he was gone. I still had the girls home. And then there was Thanksgiving. So, like, the girls had nine days off in a row. Jax had five in a row. Um, was it five? Yeah. He was off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So now this is his first full week of preschool. Today is the third day because it's Wednesday. So he, after today, like I'm on my way to pick him up now. But I hate when I see like two plane tracks. Like one's going this way, one's going this way. It's like looks like in the sky. Like it looks like they're going to run into each other. I mean, obviously they have flight people that like keep up with the airspace. But I don't know. It looks crazy. Um, anyways. So as of today, this has officially been his longest days in a row of going to school. So it was two weeks or two days the first week, two days last week, and now so far this week, this will be day number three. Uh, the first two weeks he cried, and then of course I would cry because he didn't want to go, and he would just like latch on. It was horrible. The first day he was literally kicking and screaming. I had to hand him to the teacher. And then it got better and better, but he would still cry. He would hold on, and then he would walk in the door to the classroom, and he'd turn around and look at me, and he'd drop his head with tears just pouring us, and he'd do a wave. And, oh, my gosh, it was heartbreaking. It was horrible. So I cried. But then, and then it's like, crap, he had five days off. Is this week going to be horrible? Like, we're starting all over? No, he has not cried this week. He keeps telling me that he loves school, and he'll start telling me things he does at school, and, like, singing me songs that he sings at school. And tell me little things that they do when it's time to eat. They put their hands in their lap until everybody, until all of the friends have their food. Because he eats breakfast there and lunch. And then he has a nap and then they have a snack. So Because he's there all day and he's only four. Um, but he loves it. He has friends. He's learning more and more kids' names. Um, like I pick him up. He's so happy for me to pick him up. But like when I pick him up, he had just been awake from a nap for like, I don't know. When do they have nap time? I forget. I think till like 12 or till like 1. I don't know. I forget what she told me. So anyway, when I pick him up, he had just, he's just been awake from his nap for like a half hour. So he's got, I think he has his nap and then his snack. And I asked her this morning and she actually sent me a snack. I'm like, I just want to know what time he has breakfast, what time he has lunch, what time his nap is, what time he has a snack. Just so I kind of can get, like, know the schedule. Um, and she said to me, but I don't remember what it said. So yeah, this is like his his first full week of school oh man there's shattered glass all over I don't remember seeing that this morning I wonder if there was an accident today anyways so this is his first full week of school so like yesterday I had a doctor's appointment today like, after I took him to school I ran to Walmart and got some things at Walmart I was at Walmart for like an hour um, and like yesterday I had a doctor's appointment three towns away back the other direction so it's like, I've had things to do with today. Like I went to Walmart and then I grabbed Taco Bell for breakfast. I got the the sausage crunch wrap that has the, what has like the spicy sauce. It's so good. I tried it a few weeks ago. I should have, I think I posted a video. I tried it either last week or the week before when he was at school. I'm never usually up and out and about at that early in the morning because I usually don't really leave town. I leave my town. 
Lady, I'm slowing down for a railroad track. If you're in that big of a hurry, you can go around me. Seriously, I'm not in the mood. I'm not going to race and fly over railroad tracks because you're in a hurry. Because I'm not in a hurry. For once, I'm not in a hurry. So, I've just been, like, Jay had, like, seven months off this year when he didn't work. And he did literally nothing, like, while I did everything. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a little bit of time for myself and just freaking relax. Monday, I did, like, a face mask. And I dermaplaned my face. I think I'm going to call Mondays, like, mommy, what did I call it? Mommy, mom's day Monday or mommy day Mondays or something. And, like, on Mondays, like, steam my face, do a face mask. I painted my nails last night. Just have Mondays, like, after, because Sunday's crazy. Like, I always want to get things in order on Sunday, but it's just too crazy. So, Monday, the first day of them back to school, I can have mommy day and just, like, treat myself, do a face mask, just paint my nails if they need it, you know, just. And then the other days, for, like, a week or two, I'm just going to freaking uh, do nothing. I, Jay texts me today, and he's like, how are you How are you doing? I'm like, good. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, absolutely nothing. I'm like, I'm sitting on my bed watching YouTube videos. I'm like, and it's freaking amazing. He's like, sounds I'm like, it is. I'm like, I don't get to do this. I'm like, you had seven months of doing whatever you want. I said, still, like, after work, I'm like, you just kind of sit in your back room and do whatever you want. I'm like, I'm still doing, like, the homework, the cleaning, the cooking, all that. I'm like, I don't know what it's like to just sit and do nothing and relax. I haven't done it since before I had kids, which was almost 12 years ago. Age would be 12 in, in, in January. It's like, for 12 years, all I've known is to be a mom and a housewife and just go, go, go. I'm like, this is freaking amazing. Like, it feels so good to just not be doing something, to just relax like I know so many people that there's like certain shows that they watch every night like a couple hours of TV I don't do that I don't watch any shows I don't know any of the shows that are like on TV or anything because I just I don't do that I'm on the go until my kids go to sleep and then once they're finally in bed to sleep then like I'm trying to do stuff for myself and relax in my room and the last two nights like I painted my nails last night and then I sat on my bed to let them dry and I fell asleep the night before that I took a shower like a really long shower and I sat on my bed, like, it wrapped in a towel and with my hair in a towel. And next thing I knew, it was, like, 3 in the morning. I fell asleep sitting up. So, like, two nights in a row. I'm like, I think I'm just so overly exhausted from just doing so much all day, every day for months at a time. And just, and just holiday stress and everything. I'm like, I've just been so overly exhausted. Like, I don't, you guys know me. I don't ever sit still. And so, to fall asleep sitting up two days in a row two nights in a row like that's insane so I think it's like catching up to me so I still want to do like my daily household chores like the living room was like if the kids aren't home I'm going to do what I want whether it's run errands get some things done go to the gym oh because I went to the gym yesterday after my doctor's appointment whatever I want like when the kids are home I'm obviously going to be downstairs where the kids are and tending to that kind of stuff so I can do dishes while the kids are home like they play they do homework they watch shows they watch their tablets and we've been watching a Christmas movie every day the last couple days and just like enjoying life like you guys I can't even explain how freaking amazing it feels to just live life and and just enjoy the moment and like be in the moment and not all in my head of what I have to do got to get this done this done this done it has been listen the first two weeks he was gone it was so kind of hard because I was like sad and all day I'm like oh my gosh I gotta get Jackson it was Thanksgiving I had to go get Thanksgiving stuff so it's kind of busy but um, the last couple days, just doing what I want, I, I can't even, I don't even have words. I thought it was gonna be like so hard to adjust to like going from being a stay at home mom for 12 years to like, what do I do? Absolutely freaking nothing. That's what I've done. And it has felt great. Like, like I said, I still want to do my normal household chores, but I can do those later. And like I picked up on Sunday. So the living room didn't need cleaned on Monday and vacuumed on Monday. Cause I did it on Sunday on Sunday evening. And then, like, the dining room's cleaned up. I think today I was supposed to do, I don't remember. I have certain how, certain rooms for certain days just to keep up with the house. But it's, like, without having kids there all day long, I can do stuff, like, when I want. That's no rush. It's no race. And, like, time is going so slow. Like, normally, it's, like, where the heck did the day go? But, like, today I kept checking the clock. I'm, like, oh, my gosh, just sitting here on my bed watching YouTube videos. I'm, like, I have so many hours yet until I have to go get Jack's. Like, normally it's, like, oh, my gosh, I have the... But no, they say when you actually take time to slow down and enjoy life, you realize you have more time. When you're always in a race, that's when you're like, you're always out of time. So today, like the last couple days have been great, but like I saw things, today, to just drop him off and go leisurely walk around Walmart, like I hate Walmart, but I went to the one in this town and not the one that I usually go to in the city. 
just walking around leisurely walking around walmart and just grabbing a few things and then grabbing breakfast and taking it home i sat on my bed and ate breakfast in my bed watching youtube like today's been the most relaxing and like great day so yeah if i i don't know how vlogmas is gonna go because it, it's gonna be just me for most of the day i don't know if you guys would like that or not but let me know like i still have we have today's wednesday so thursday night we have a christmas thing to do friday night a christmas thing saturday a christmas thing sunday a christmas thing one day next week Allie has santa shop at school another day next week after school we have math night at Allie's school where we go to the school and like santa's there and they do like all the math activities so like there's plenty of things to do i still want to have baking day and all that stuff but for like the, as far as like the daily vlogs i don't know how they're gonna be but if you guys want me to do vlogmas comment down below let me know what you want i'll still do like whatever videos and i'm not i'm not on a diet like what i said like i just kind of want to drop a few pounds like i don't even want to lose 10 pounds like people anytime i post anything i thought you wanted to lose weight that meal is 1200 calories really 1200 calories for like my calories are around 1500 calories a day every day like i can't really cut out much you don't want to go below a thousand like i can't really keep it much lower than 1500 because that's not even freaking healthy like, so on a day when I treat myself, and it's not called binging. Like, I'm not sitting and just, like, binging and stuff. I'm having a, and I wouldn't even call it a cheat meal. If I'm just going to treat myself to a fast food meal out and enjoy the food, that's not binging. Like, I don't restrict my diet and cut things. I've told you guys many times I'm not cutting anything out of my diet. There's nothing that I'm never going to eat again in my life. I'm not doing that. That's not, a, that's not a lifestyle that I choose to have. If you choose to cut out things and never eat that again, that's great. If you've lost 100 pounds, that's great. You are obviously eating way more calories than I am. And they say, like, the bigger you are, the easier it is to cut weight or to lose weight by cutting calories because you have a lot more to spare. I'm only 145 pounds, 144 point something. So 145 pounds, I'm five foot six. I'm not overweight. I just need to, like, tone up in areas and, like, kind of lose the belly. But a lot of my belly is bloat. Um, so, yeah, so I'm not even going to say anymore that I want to lose a few pounds because as I gain muscle... Muscle weighs more than fat anyway because it's more dense. So my weight's probably going to stay the same or even maybe go up a little bit as my body composition changes. So no, I'm not, I don't want to lose weight. I don't. 144 at five foot six is a healthy weight. I just want to tone up and I'll eat healthier when I choose to and make healthier options just to be healthier overall. But no, I don't want to lose weight. I'm not on a diet. I don't need to go on Weight Watchers. Like I said, if I did... Like I said, I don't even want to say I want to lose 10, but less than 10 pounds because I don't even know if I want to lose five pounds. Like I said, I'd rather just turn, burn fat and then gain muscle. So it's a totally different body composition. I just want to be healthier. I want to feel better. I want to get my heart pumping for heart health, all that kind of stuff. So no, I'm not on a diet. I don't want to lose weight, but I got to go and get jacked. So comment down below what, if you want me to do vlogmas or not, but I got to go. It's time to go get him.